Today I want to talk about my new book. It's called In the Zone. And this uh, material has been so inspiring to create. Wow, I've been living my dreams all this time. And once I became aware of it, then I realized I can actually have more to say than what I'm saying lately. I don't want to say that I got in a midlife rut. I was still successful in business, still successful in performing, but it was all about this shift that had to happen. My career, my physical career, circus aerial acrobatics was being taken away because it took my body longer to recover. So what I had to do is I had to transition into something new, something that could be a whole new line of work. And I tried it even. I didn't like the physical work, so I went right back to something that I was comfortable with, which was modeling and acting. And during that transition, I hadn't turned 50 yet. I was on the cusp of turning 50. And what happened was, a friend of mine and I got to talking about his success and how proud I am of him to, to you know to be able to pick this story out as one of my favorites. Because um, I was mentoring people along the way as I was growing and, and living my dreams. I was mentoring because I know giving back was actually teaching me what I learned, if that makes sense. Um, I had mentors that taught me different things in life. They kind of represented a father figure that just stepped into my life and gave me a little guidance when I was kind of walking that line a little bit, you know. And Jeff was just a hungry kid when I met him, you know, he's a hungry kid, and uh, he would come to the gym, and I'd be working out in between my tours, I had been traveling around the world, all over Europe, and uh, he just wanted to know more about what I, you know, did, with performing, and if he could come out and get a job with me, I mean, this kid was persistent, he would, every tour, I'd see him at the gym, you know, I, Still wanted to come out. At that point, I was tour manager for the U.S., uh, doing some shows in the U.S., had a production team, and I needed a, a lighting guy. I needed a roadie. I needed a guy to put my sound system together, and then I even needed a backup MC um, that I could mentor and teach. And uh, so I gave Jeff a chance, and uh, glad I did. Uh, he just was hungry and paid attention to every little detail and just sucked it all. I'm going to move forward to now where Jeff and I are having this conversation and I'm looking back onto his successes and just asking him, you know, I remember I had suggested some books to read and just the philosophy of optimism and being positive when it comes to, you know, living your life and the dreams that you want to have or that you have that you want to apply to um, your lifestyle, your, you know, if you're going to be a family man or if you're going to travel or, you know, what that is. And uh, Jeff and I had a really great conversation about what really helped him was these daily affirmations. And I'm like, wait. I've done daily affirmations before, I've read those books, and I remember reading those affirmations, but I didn't do them every day. I just read the book, and I was inspired in the moment, and I put the book on the shelf, and I didn't really create my own affirmations, but what he did was he took it to the next level, and this was really what got me inspired. He wrote down affirmations that were about his life, about himself, and he would read them every day out loud, and that would inspire him to create what he wanted to create. He wanted to become a realtor. He became a realtor. He wanted to own his own business. He owned his own business. He wanted to run for city commissioner, and, and he, he was elected city commissioner. So I'm like, damn, there must be something to manifesting these visions that you're having. So I had him share his affirmations with me. And uh, I was instantly inspired by what he said. These affirmations resonated with me, with the fact that I would have visions and I would have inner dialogue like these affirmations. Maybe not daily, but that's how I must have created my dreams, by 
understanding and picturing what I wanted and putting it out in the universe and having it come back to me to manifest. So here's my opportunity now to, to listen to Jeff's, to see how it is manifested through his intentions and his detail, and to take that format and to put it on me, to, to, to write something that, for me, something that I wanted, now I'm changing my, you know, the chapter of my life, the physical performance is starting to fade, and then I have to rejuvenate, redefine who I am in this industry. So I thought it would be really empowering, self-empowering, to write my own affirmations and um, say them out loud every day. I memorized them. Then I started recording myself saying them. And each step of the way, I started growing and expanding and starting having these experiences that I had written about, that I was speaking about. Um, these affirmations became a daily part of my life every morning. Um, and wow, you know, I got results. I started seeing things happen. Changes in my life that were shifting because I, I had intentionally, you know, put it out there in the universe with my affirmations. Um, so now I'm at the point where I'm saying them every day. I kind of do a little pre-meditation to kind of clear my mind and that really helps me uh, with my intentions and my focus when I speak my affirmations and how much passion and inspiration that I put into them kind of helps them expand I believe uh, adding a, a heightened state so by the time I'm done with these affirmations I'm on fire, I'm tingling. I've got a book that I'm working on and it's called In The Zone. In The Zone, In The Zone is all about the right mindset, the right approach, and the flow of energy. Once you start understanding that this is a path of least resistance, that you're empowering, that you're flowing, and that you're growing and expanding to achieve these goals that you have, then and that's basically what it's all about. I was living my dreams. I wasn't doing it as conscious as I thought. I was doing it because I had vision. I had excitement. But now I'm doing it with intent, with detail. And this is the wisdom of time, experience. And not only that, seeing it work for others and seeing it work for myself. Because this isn't just something I started last month. I've been doing this for two and a half years. This has definitely uh, given me enough time to log all of the things that I've manifested through these affirmations. This is living proof. This is really legit. Because anything that I want to say and I want to be, I want it to be authentic and real and honest. And I think the audience will resonate with that and feel that as well. So let's move forward to the actual affirmations. And this is what I do on a daily basis. I'm gonna start, like I always start. Thank you for today, this day, this moment. This moment, I thankfully accept all of the good things that are coming my way. This moment is full of excitement, love, energy, health, and prosperity. This moment I fill myself with faith, optimism, and love. Today people are calling on me to be of service to them, and I respond by giving my very best. Today I accept the abundance and the prosperity that is mine, and I willingly share it with others. Today I focus on the moment. This moment, the power of now. This moment I spend in total enjoyment of what I do. Today, I practice health in my life. I breathe in health. I embody health. I am grateful for health.
today I fill myself up with loving thoughts and actions towards all other people and myself. Today I spend in grateful appreciation of all that is and all that will be and all that is mine to share. Today I will be impeccable with my word. I will not take anything personal. I will not make assumptions. I will do my best. I will do my best to remain centered, to stay balanced, and to be grounded. I would do my best to be efficient, to be effective, and to be focused. And just feeling all those empowering words and thoughts and emotions just like resonating through my body right now out into the room and out into the universe. This is what it feels like to be inspired. This is you or me self-empowering myself through my words using my energy with intentions and applying it to the laws of physics and the universe to manifest how I want to feel, how I want to live my life, my experiences in life. Now this was just the start. This was just my first lesson, my first time. I get a little nervous behind the camera. Actually, I didn't do as bad as I thought this time. Um, but sometimes when I'm in front of a big group of audience, it just happens. It's natural. It's real. There's a lot of energy involved and there's a lot of body chemistry that's happening and changing. And uh, hmm, I'm enjoying the ride. That's all I can do. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your interest in learning about daily affirmations. Have a good rest of your day.